Today we're taking a look at an alternate version of exercise 7-5 from page 342 of the textbook, Chapter 7, Reporting and Analyzing Receivables. This problem is looking at the percent of account receivable method. So the problem reads that at calendar end, Maisie Supply Company uses the percent of account receivable method to estimate bad debts. On December the 31st, it has outstanding account receivables of $133,500 and it estimates that 4% will be uncollectible. So this method is very, very similar to the method we looked in a previous video using the percent of sales method. This is taking a set balance and applying a percent to that set balance and deciding that that amount will be uncollectible. Let's take a look. So the problem says, uh, prepare the adjusting entry to record bad debt expense for 2016, assuming that the allowance for doubtful accounts has a $2,270 credit balance before the adjustment. So let's go ahead and set up our journal entry here. We have our basic ledger and we're going to be recording bad debt expense and we're going to be applying a credit to the allowance for doubtful accounts. Remember that's the contra account to account receivables. And we're doing this based on the approach, the estimated receivable amount. So let's take a first look at the account receivables. They show the balance of 133,500. Now the company is gonna make an entry into the allowance for doubtful accounts. 4% of 1335 will be the amount and that'll be $5,340. So this is very similar to what we saw for the sales approach. That amount that's gonna get applied to the allowance account will simply be the percent of the receivables. It was the percent of the sales in the previous uh, uh, video. Now this just is a percent of the actual account receivables. But the trick here is that they show a balance already in this allowance account for $2,270. But we want to show that ending balance as 4% of our account receivables. We want the ending amount in this allowance account to be 4% of 133,000 or 5,340. We started with a credit balance already in the account of 2,270. So then the amount that becomes bad debt expense for the period is just a plug number to take us from a credit of 2270 to a credit of 5340. Or the required adjustment will be $3,070. And that required adjustment becomes then our bad debt expense that gets put as a debit on December 31st. So Bad debt expense for the year is going to be 3070 Remember how we calculated it again. We took our total account receivables, $1,350. We say we believe that 4% of that entire amount will be uncollectible. So that means we want to have the contra account's ending balance of 4% of 1335 or 5340 now, since that account already had a beginning credit balance, the bad debt expense is simply a plug to take us from the beginning balance to the ending balance. So the bad debt expense in this case will be $3,070. Therefore, we already saw that the entry to the allowance account will be a credit for $3,070. And that was to record the estimated bad debt expense. Okay, so then there's part B of the problem. And part B of the problem says, well, now prepare the adjusted entry to record bad debt expense, assuming that the allowance for doubtful account has a debit balance of 668. Well, remember, we previously saw a credit balance, and that credit balance was 2270. Now there's going to be a debit balance in that allowance account. So this is going to be handled slightly differently. Let's go ahead and put our journal entry together. We know we're trying to solve for what bad debt expense for the period is. We know that we're going to have a entry to the allowance for doubtful accounts. So we have our receivables still that we saw previously. We have account receivables of 133.5. We still know that the allowance account, we wanted to have an ending 4% of this amount. That is the amount that will be the offset that's going to be lowering our account receivables. 4% of the account receivable amount. 
So we know that we want to still have that same ending balance of 5340. But in the previous slide, we saw that we had an earlier credit balance here. That credit balance was 2270. In this problem, it says, prepare the entry if there is a 668 debit balance. So instead of having that credit balance we saw previously, now there's going to be an opening debit balance of 668. But the process becomes the exact same. We still need to find out what bad debt expense is for the period, and that's simply the amount to take us from the debit of 668 to the credit of 5340. So how much do we need to put in for the bad debt expense? We'll take 5340 against 668, and the plug number here will be 6008. Because 6008 minus 668 would give us that ending target balance that we need of 5340. So we're going to plug bad debt expense of 6008, and we see already here what the credit was to the allowance account, 6008 as well. So let's take a look at one final thing just to see what the balance sheet account would actually look like for the company. The component of account receivable and allowance added together or netted together. We would see the account receivables of 133,000. We would show the allowance for doubtful accounts that we would subtract off of that account receivable balance of 5340. And that would give us a net account receivables for this company of 128,160.